Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Civil Line. Myself, Milan Patel, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is about linear measurement. This is the third lecture of linear measurement. In previous lecture, lecture number two, we have covered two topics, introduction of chain survey and various operations involved in chain survey like chaining, ranging and offsetting. In today's lecture, we will cover various errors involved in chaining and number of examples of errors in chaining. Let's start with errors in chaining due to incorrect chaining. Errors in chaining is generally generated due to three reasons. First is natural because of variation in nature such as temperature. The length of the chain is changed due to temperature change. It is also changed due to moisture effect. Like if you are using one tap because of moisture, its flexibility is increased and due to that the length of the tap is altered. This type of error is called as natural errors. Second reason behind this error is personal error. Because of the person's mistake, the error generated in overall calculation of the work. And the third is because of the faulty instruments. If one link is missing in chain or the tap is cut from the end, it is called as instrumental type of errors. Because of this, the measure distance is changed. We will understand these errors by this table. If chain or tap is too long or the length is increased, then the actual measure distance will be less. And we have to correct the distance by adding the errors. So the correction will be positive. If the chain is too short or chain or tap is too short means the length of the chain or tap is reduced then the actual measure distance is more and correction of the work should be negative. We have to deduct the error from the actual measure distance. This whole concept is used in number of examples. We will see this concept in example soon in the next topics. To correct the work, we can use number of formulas like for correcting the length of the line. True length of the line is equal to L dash by L into measure length. We have to multiply the measure length with L dash by L. To correct this area, we have to multiply measure area with L dash by L whole square. And to correct the volume, to find out true volume, we have to multiply measure volume with L dash by L cube. Here, L dash is equal to incorrect length of the chain or the actual length of the chain after the errors. And L is equal to standard length of the chain. By this equation, we can correct the work. Now, let's discuss the second topic of today's lecture, which are the examples of errors in chain. First example is a 20 meter chain was found to be 8 centimeter too long at the end of day's work after measuring 4000 meter. If the chain was correct before commencement of the work, find out the correct length of the line. So here the distance is about 4000 meter. At the starting of the work, before commencement of the work, chain was correct means at the starting point, the length of the chain is 20 meter. At the ending, the chain was found to be 8 cm too long. So the length of the chain at ending is equal to 20.08 meter. The chain length at meter beginning 20 meter, chain length at the end 20.08 meter. The mean incorrect length L dash is equal to 20 plus 20.08 divided by 2. When there are two measurements of the chain as starting as well as ending is done, then L dash is found by averaging these two lengths. So here L dash is calculated by averaging 20 and 20.08 meter. So L dash is equal to 20.04 meter. Standard length of the chain given in the example is 20 meter. So 
we have L dash, we have L, we have also measure length which is 4000 meter ml. So our equation for finding out the true length of the line Tn is equal to L dash by L into measure length. Here L dash is equal to 20.04, L is equal to 20 and measure length is equal to 4000 meter. So we can find out the correct length of the line or true length of the line which is required in example 4008 meter. As we have discussed, when chain is too long, is the case here 8 cm chain, the length of the chain is increased by 8 cm. So, chain is expanded. When chain is too long, measure distance, this is the 4000 meter, is too less compared to the actual one. Here 4008 is the corrected one. Correction will be additive. So, this 8 meter is the correction which is additive to the measure distance. This is the example number one. Now, Let's move to the second example of today's lecture. A 30 meter chain was found to be 0.15 meter too long at the end of day's work after chaining a distance of 5000 meter. It was found to be 0.3 meter too long after measuring total distance of 10,000 meter. At the starting of the work, chain was tested and found to be exactly 30 meter in length. Find out the corrective length of the measured line. We will understand this example by figure. This is the 5000 meter first one and the second one is the 5000 meter also. The total distance is 10,000 meter. At the starting of the work, chain was tested and it is 30 meter in length. After measuring 5000 meter, chain is too long. How many? 0.15 meter too long. So the length of the chain after 5000 meter is 30.15 meter. And after measuring total distance of 10,000 meter, means here from part 1, 5,000 meter. After measuring total distance of 10,000 meter, chain is about 0.3 meter too long. So here at the end, the length of the chain is 30.3 meter. Here we can divide this example into two examples, part 1 and part 2. Here in part 1, the length, standard length L is equal to 30 meter. Here two times the measurements are taken. So L is equal to average between 30 and 30.15 meters. So here chain is point. The mean length, mean incorrect length L is equal to 30 plus 30.15 divided by 2, 30.075 meter. Standard length of the chain is 30 meters. Measure length ML is equal to 5000 meter. Our equation to length TL is equal to L dash by L into measure length. So TL1 is the first part length 30.075 divided by 30 into 5000, 5012.5 meter. This is the actual true length of this first, first part. Now we will calculate for second part. For second part, chain is 0.3 meter too long. So at the end, the length of the chain is 30.3 meter. The mean incorrect length here also average of 30.15 and 30.3 is done because two times measurements are taken of the chain. Measure length is 5000 meter. The equation of finding out two length is equal to L dash by L into measure length. So TL2 is calculated by 30.225 divided by 30 into 5000. So TL2 is equal to 5037.5 meter. Now we have two true lengths TL1 and TL2. Adding this TL1 and TL2, we can find out the actual length or true length of the whole line. Like this. Correct the length of the measure distance TL is equal to TL1 plus TL2. 5012.5 plus 5037.5. 10,050 meter is the true length of the line which is required in the example. Now, let's move to the third example. The distance between two points on the ground was measured with 30 meter chain and found to be 1500 meter. The same distance was measured with 20 meter chain and found to be 1450 meter. If the 30 meter chain was 5 cm too short, what was the error in 20 meter chain? This example can be understood by this figure. This, the distance between A and B is first measured with 20 meter chain and found to be 1450 meter. The same distance is measured with 30 meter chain and found to be 1500 meter. Because of the change in the measurements, 
one question comes in our mind that there are the chances of errors in chains. So first we will stand 30 meter chain to the laboratory and test it the distance of this chain. It was found that 30 meter chain was 5 centimeter too short while serving. And because of this, one also question comes in our mind that there are the chances of errors in 20 meter also. So by calculation, we can find out these errors in 20 meter chain. For that, we have to start with the data of 30 meter chain because we have the errors of 30 meter. So for 30 meter chain, standard length of the chain L is equal to 30 meter. Chain is 5 cm too short and only once chain is tested. So L is, is calculated by 30 minus 0 0.05 meter, 29.95 meter. Here in a L dash, the average is not carried out because only once the chain is tested. Measure length by 30 meter chain is 1500 meters. Our equation to length TL is equal to L dash by L into measure length. So TL is equal to 29.95 divided by 30 into 1500 meter. So true length between A and B is equal to 1497.5 meters. This is the true length of the line AB. Now we will find the error in 20 meter chain. So for 20 meter chain, we have the standard length L is equal to 20 meter and we have to find the errors. So we have to find out the L dash of 20 meter chain. Measure length of the chain for 20 meter is 1450 meters. True length of the line is 1497.5 meter. Because by using equation TL is equal to L dash by L into measure length, we have TL, we have ML, we have the standard length L. So we can find out L dash. So L dash is equal to 20.655 meter. Here the actual length of the chain is 20 meter and incorrect length of the chain is 20.655 meters. So the error in chaining is 65 centimeter or 65.5 centimeter. Because of L dash is higher than the L, so the error in chaining is chain is 65 centimeter too long. So this is the error in 20 meter chain which is required in example. Now let's move to the last example of today's lecture which is a 30 meter chain was correct at the beginning of the survey and was found to be 20 centimeter too long at the end of the survey. The map of the area survey was prepared with a scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 500 meters. If the area of the map was 200 centimeter square, find out the two area in hectares. We can understand this example by one figure. Here, the measured area is equal to 200 centimeter square, having scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 500 meter. At the beginning, the chain was correct, which is 30 meter, and at the end, the chain is too long, about 20 centimeter. So at the end, the length of the chain is equal to 30.20 meter. By that, you can write down standard length of the chain, 30 meter, mean incorrect length of the chain, L dash is equal to 30 plus 30.20 divided by 2 is equal to 30.1 meters. Here in L dash, average is carried out because two times measurements are taken of the chain. Measure area of the pen is equal to 200 centimeter square. Here one scale is given, one centimeter is equal to 500 meters. If we convert it into centimeter square, one centimeter square is equal to 500 square meters square is about 250,000 meters square. If we convert it into the hectare, 10,000 meters square is equal to 1 hectare. So 250,000 meters square is equal to how many hectares? Is about 25 hectares. So 1 centimeter square is equal to 25 hectares. If we convert our measured area from centimeter square into hectare like this, 1 centimeter square is equal to 25 hectares. So 200 centimeter square is equal to how many hectares? Is about 5000 hectares on the ground. So we have the measured area in hectare. We have L dash, we have the standard length of the chain. So true area is equal to L dash by L whole square into measured area is equal to 30.10 divided by 30 whole square into 5000 
hectare. So measured area which is in hectare, so two area is also in hectare which is 5033 hectare. That's all about today's lecture. I hope you understand the errors in chaining and various examples of errors in chaining. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Civil Life. Thank you.